What video should we make today? Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're gonna do more socket programming. In my last socket video, we made a really simple web server. It didn't do much, but it did allow connections from clients. It did receive data from them, but one thing that it didn't do, it didn't know anything about the client that connected to it. This is gonna be a really short video, but I wanted to look at that accept call from our re previous example. Last time when I showed you that accept call, there were two arguments there at the end. They're both null, and I told you it had something to do with getting the address from the client, and that's exactly what they're for, and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make our server a little bit smarter so that it can get the address of the client that connects to it. So all we need is a structure that's gonna hold our address and a length. So then we pass in the address of the struct and its length, and accept is going to fill those with data. So that's why I'm passing in a pointer, I'm passing in the address of both of these, and they're gonna get filled by accept with the addresses that we need, and the addresses we're gonna print out. Now when the address comes back, it's going to be in network format, so it's gonna be a struct with a bunch of binary data into it. And for now, I just wanna print out the address so you can see that it's there. So I'm gonna use this inet ntop function. So inet ntop is going to take an address in network format, and it's gonna convert it into presentation format. That's the P, so network to presentation. So I need to tell it I'm dealing with internet addresses. I give it a pointer to the struct that accept filled with data, and I give it a buffer that it's gonna put the presentation form. It's gonna convert it to a string, and I need, a, I need some place for it to put that string so that this client address is where the string is gonna get put. And then I give it the length of the string just so it knows when to stop in case it happens to have a really huge address, which it won't in this case. And then we can just print out the string. And now when I print this, every time a connection is received, you can see that, yeah, we still print out all the information about the connection, all the data from the client. But up here at the top, you'll notice that it printed out the address. And this might tell me something about the client that connected to me. It could tell me, is this on my local machine? Is it on my local area network here? Or is it somewhere on the other side of the world? One caution, though, is that there are ways to spoof IP addresses. So this isn't foolproof information, but it is generally reliable. And that's really all the time I've got today. I'm sorry to be short, it's the end of the semester, there's a lot going on, but hopefully that gives you another tool that you can use in your programs to make your servers more capable. And until next time, I'll see you later.